So now we've talked all about the reactions that alcohols can undergo. Uh, the piece that we're missing, though, is how do we actually synthesize alcohols? Okay, so we want to talk about some ways that we can access, access alcohols from other functionality. Now, there are some um, reactions that you will have learned last year, um, particularly in the, um, uh, the section on the chemistry of al al uh, alkenes. Okay? Uh, so I'm just going to remind you of those reactions. Um, and if you need a refresher, um, I will just point you to uh, the book or to your notes from last semester. So the first one is the hydration of alkenes. Okay. Uh, so you recall that there are um, several ways to do this. So the first one um, would be uh, just simply using aqueous acid. Okay. Now this is generally only going to work in the case where we have very uh, stable um, uh, carbocations can be generated. Okay. So if I, for example, treat this tri-substituted um, alkene with some aqueous acid, um, I'll be able to generate a tertiary carbocation as an intermediate, and then that can be quenched with alcohol uh, with water uh, to produce the tertiary alcohol. Okay, so so the simple acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes is one possibility, but there's a pretty significant limitation in terms of the substrates that we can do. Um, and so things that can form tertiary carbocations are usually okay, um, but uh, primary, secondary um, uh, type of, of situations are not gonna be uh, very good for that. So there are some other possibilities then. So one of the most useful uh, reactions in this regard is the hydroboration oxidation reaction. Uh, so this won a Nobel Prize in 1979 uh, for H.C. Brown, um, which, which gives you a sense of how uh, important that was. And if we treat uh, an alkene uh, with borane, uh, remember what happens here is that we get um, an anti-Markovnikov addition of one of those BH bonds across the alkene, okay? So we might get something like this as an intermediate. Um, and so remember this is anti-Markovnikov and uh, the, the B, the boron and the H uh, add across the alkene in a syn relationship, uh, which is important for stereochemistry. Um, and then if we treat this uh, borane with uh, peroxide um, and base, um, what we will get to then is our alcohol okay so in this case our alcohol is up there we have it okay so that's the hydroboration oxidation very useful uh, type of reaction um, and what is uh, almost unique about it is the fact that it does go with this anti-markovnikov addition um, this is actually otherwise extremely hard to achieve that type of transformation Okay, so that's one way. And the other way that we could do this, and I'll just keep using the same substrate, um, is that we could do a uh, oxymercuration uh, reaction. So if we treat our alkene with um, mercury diacetate uh, in the presence of water, what this will do is uh, to, to actually add um, mercury and a hydroxyl group across the olefin. Okay, so um, there is our mercury, mercury acetate, okay? So we've added those and the, the hydroxy and the mercury um, add trans to one another. Um, that actually doesn't end up mattering too much because what we do then is we reduce off the mercury from this compound using sodium borohydride. So we're just gonna completely remove the, the mercury um, entirely replace it with a, a hydrogen and that's just going to leave us with our alcohol and so in this case the overall addition of the water is Markovnikov so hydroboration anti-Markovnikov oxymercuration reduction Markovnikov okay and so that's that's how to add simply water across the alkene uh, and the other uh, process that um, you will have learned is the, then the dihydroxylation, dihydroxylation 
of alkenes. Uh, and so there's a lot of circumstances um, in molecules that we care about, um, either as end products or as intermediates, where we want uh, alcohols um, that are on adjacent carbons, so, so diols, or, or even further, uh, triols and tetraols and things like that. Um, and so uh, reactions that can put in more than one alcohol unit at the same time are very useful. And keep using the same substrate here. The way that, uh, the most widely used way that we can do that, uh, add two hydroxyl groups in the same reaction, is uh, with osmium tetroxide um, in what is appropriately named a dihydroxylation reaction. And I will just remind you that uh, dihydroxylation is going to proceed um, through a cyclic intermediate, which is an osmate ester. Okay, osmate ester, uh, and then this uh, then needs to get hydrolyzed, and so uh, the useful reagent here is um, uh, NaHSO3, and then uh, with water around, and then this will actually yield to us the dihydroxylated product. So we have two hydroxyl groups in this product, and because of the mechanism, they end up syn to one another on the same side of the ring. Um, and so that's the dihydroxylation. So that's one, uh, one useful other reaction. Um, and then the other um, way to do this, um, to convert uh, an alkene into an alcohol, is to first epoxidize the alkene um, and, then, um, and then to hydrolyze it. And to hydrolysis. All right, so what we're going to do in this case is to take our alkene, uh, we will epoxidize it. So remember MCPBA, okay, that will give us our epoxide. Okay. And then what we'll do is to open that up. So we'll do an, an aqueous um, hydrolysis um, and that will uh, remember how this works, you, you protonate the, um, the epoxide oxygen and then you're going to uh, basically do an SN1 uh, type of chemistry to give it a cation. It'll leave behind the most stable cation. That'll be trapped by water. And so in this case, what we will be looking for uh, is the following product. So there's our, our oxygen from the epoxide to pick up the proton and then the water will have trapped. Uh, and so this will give a, a trans relationship um, to our diol, um, whereas the dihydroxylation gave the syn relationship. Okay, so those are uh, three different ways, um, or three different categories um, of chemistry that you learned about how to get to alcohols from alkenes. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about um, another extremely common and useful way uh, to get them from other functionality.